Hello everyone, it's Sean, and I'm here once again with the 537 Scale Enterprise A. have to get quite back far to get it in frame. I'm here to um, put the decals on, but you realize they just floated off their water. So give me a moment to find a big piece of decal film I can put them on again. Stand by. And unfortunately it broke up also. But I have spares. All may not be lost. Got one on its backing. I'm going to uh, put this on the tripod. Be right back. All right, forgive the awkward angle. But I got something on there. So I'm just going to have to uh, leave the other two in the water and see what I can do one at a time. Got my Q-ships here. So I am going to just uh, work on the section of the ship that needs the uh, the decal applied, and we'll see how we do here. So forgive me if I'm a little silent for a moment, but all right, that's one. Now I need a little microsol set, I think. I think we've got to use the toothpick to align it into place before I do anything else. So I know you can't see from this angle, but I'll show you everything when I'm ready. Be right back. There you go. The first nacelle is on. It tried to fragment a bit. I'm trying to ease it into position. There. There you go. So that's the first one. There's the photo. I'm going to put on the other two and turn to the blue set for the remainder. This is why I have multiple sets for each one, as you can see over there. Problem is that the nacelles are too gritty from the all the primer coats when I was trying to fix the nacelle connections. But that's why this is just a proof of concept model. Not exactly a uh, final model. This is more like a can, I, can it be done, can it be built model. Just a test bed, really. So I'm going to get the next uh, decal out here and try to put it on the inner port, the cell, right there. Oh, give me one minute here. Got to get the uh, decal in on the paper again. Evenly. There. There we go. Then you ease it off. Evenly. in one piece. Check a diagram. Even of the decals that didn't work, you can check the diagram. If it has something that shows the inboard side, because that's what I need to see in order to make sure that I'm actually putting the decal on correctly. Uh, anything that shows the inboard side? No. Not there either. HDA model works don't come with any instructions. The model kit did. I have to find its guide. Didn't come with instructions, but that's what the 350 scale is for. So, give me one minute. <clears throat> I will check out those instructions. Hopefully they show something. <clears throat> no, not the Aztec decal. The other one. All right, here we go. Inboard, ah, 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 here we go. There we go, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Okay. So, which one's the inboard side? It's the lighter side, there. So you can see 
that the one ends at the hump. And if you turn it the other way, you can see that the N ends at the hump, which is practically where I have it. I just have to nudge it down a bit. Let's see if that'll work without breaking the thing. Because again, it's against a rough surface. All right. Mm. Microsol again. Well, actually, I'm just going to leave it as it is. At least now I know where to put it. And I'm going to mine from the blue for the next one. All right. So you got the blue ones here. Decal number six is what I'm looking for. Now, it says 1999 on it, so it might be from JT Graphics, or it might be from some other uh, website. I don't think JT Graphics has been around for 24 years. But there you go. So I'm going to trim it a little bit just to make sure here. All right, yeah, there, mm-hmm, doesn't need to be trimmed much at this end, trim a little, there, just a bit, good, all right, here we go, silky, and of course I'm going to turn the ship around, I don't know if I can get the tripod up high enough to show that. Well, I kind of can. Just give me one minute here. There, total. Perfect. Oh, you needed to put it on the outer edge anyway. I could turn it around again, but let me let the uh, decal out of the water before it comes off its backing paper. Come on. There you go. There you go. All right, so let's turn it around again. <sighs> Be right back. All right, so... As far as the starboard outer, here we are. That's from the 350. Let's see what the uh, 537 says. Oh, of course, it's showing the 1701 also. It's not accounting for the A. But I brought the N right to the start of the hump. So I will do that again. And we'll see how it goes. And I will be back to show you the result. Final registry decal. Now, just at first glance, it does look a bit bigger than the other one. Oh, it does move around on the microsol. There you go. There, that's good. Leave it like that. So I will take the picture now. So that's one set of decals. I to take the decal off of that one and use the blue one again to get it to work properly. But the, I've always had better luck with blue background decals than uh, white anyway. So that's actually a good thing. All right, so I will set you down again, and we'll go from, actually, give me one second. All right, so that's a much better angle. And I'm going to put the decal in place now, and brush it with the micro set, I believe. 
and we'll go from there. Just got to make sure it loosens off the backing paper. I'm having a bit of difficulty, so I got to soak it again. So I'll be back when it's on and I'll give you the pictures. Got it on there. You can see the picture here. And uh, I managed to even put the two parts of the blue thing together where they broke apart a smidge. Actually, just no, no, that's good. Just nudge that end up just slightly. One moment. There we go. So it's pretty even. The letters extend to the edge of the hump. I'm going to see if I can fix that one. Anyway, it's good because I end up using three of the four blue ones for the nacelles. And it'll align it a lot better along there. But I learned a good lesson. Thankfully not the hard way because you still have one left over. Blue backed decals are the best for everything. So that's perfect. And I don't know where I got the blue decals from. They're not PNT from Federation Models. They're not HDA Model Works because I have those. And they're not the kit decals because those ones fall apart at the slightest provocation just like the other old white ones. Yet these ones from 1999 hold themselves together quite well. So there we are. Both uh, nacelle decals are on on the uh, port side now. There's the picture. Now what I'm going to do, I mean I have the iridescent shuttle bay door. You've, uh, careful, there you go. You've seen that before. Maybe only in picture form. And I'll show you what else I've got here. All right, should be able to see now. Just give me one moment to move some stuff out of the way here. All right, there. That's a good angle, right? Oh, well, mm -hmm. actually, just a minute. How about there? Let's uh, zoom in on this little uh, container here. Hmm? There. All right. So what I have in this container are two shuttles. Well, three, actually. So you see this? Uh, this is a shuttle that came with the 1993 kit. But as you can see... It doesn't even come close to fitting in the shuttle bay of the 537. But it is close to fitting in the shuttle bay. It's probably the right shape to fit in the shuttle bay of the 350 scale. So it is going to sit there. And I'm going to take a few pictures of it. This is actually the only shuttle of this size that I had left over from 1993. Never decaled it, never painted it until 2019, but I realized it'd be the perfect fit for the 350 scale, which I now have for an Enterprise A, which you can actually see down here. That's the Enterprise A. So I put it back in its box, but I grab... <clears throat> One of these shuttles that came with the 350 scale refit. See? So what you do is you actually put that shuttle bay, shuttle, right in there. Right in the shuttle bay of the uh, 537. Put the shuttle bay door in place. 
and you should theoretically almost be able to actually get it well the door doesn't quite fit with the shuttle on the deck but the shuttle does fit in there yeah the shuttle does fit on the back of the deck there you can see that and there is the door in place. So that is, I keep them in here. So the 350 at the front, because there's two of them. There's the true 350 shuttle now. In here. And I haven't painted them yet. So that's what I'll have to do next, paint them the gray, and then put them in the, uh, in there. There, there you go. All right. Now you see these little figures here? It would be the most amazing thing if those figures actually fit. Like they won't, they're too big for a 537 scale bridge, but I bet they would fit in a 350 scale bridge. I bet those figures are the right size for that. Be something I have to keep in mind for the future. In the meantime, they just kind of stay in that drawer right there. So that's all for now for the uh, 537. Take some uh, beauty shots here. Give me one moment. All right, that's the best backdrop I'm going to get for the completed 537. And I'll give you a good angle wide of the other one. All right, so there's the other angle showing the... Uh, it's hard to see that one because it's all wrinkled up with microsol. Oh, it's really impossible to see. But it is there. There's the photo. So now you let the ship rest like that. That should be the uh, final, not, not quite the final build on the 537. I still want to see if it can fit this stand by taking the putty out of the original stand hole and pushing the stand through because that's where the stand blocker is so it doesn't go in too far. Still want to see if it can sit on that stand and therefore not have to brace on this. But that'll be uh, the true finale of the video. I'll try that in a couple days once the uh, nacelle end cap decals dry. So we'll see you all later and have a good uh, day. Bye bye. Oh, uh, there is a programming note. Tomorrow's my birthday, February 3rd, 2023. It was 30 years ago that I first got a 537 refit, 30 years to the day. I'll post a couple video pictures I have of that old model right now. You can see here the picture of when I first uh, opened the Enterprise A back in 1993. Of course, it was a Star Trek themed birthday when I was 15, as you can see from my TOS Enterprise cake. And this is a picture I took in 2014 of that ship that we built in the summer of 94. I took it to a hobby shop to get a proper base on it and hopefully to get its uh, parts realigned because you can see in this front picture how badly misaligned the parts are and you can see in the next picture how badly misaligned the neck is but unfortunately that hobby shop closed down and my model was lost so I had to buy a new one. Now back to the video. And 
that's a good historical context. You can see why I wanted to build another model because I wanted to see if I could get everything aligned correctly, give it a proper paint job and everything. So that's all for this video. I'll come back when I do the final stand alignment or attempt, and that'll be the true finale of this uh, model number 12. 537 scale Enterprise A with Aztec decal, Aztec paneling directly on the tall small panel lines because the Star Trek 4 kit, which is right here, I will use the HDA Model Works decals with the pearlescent on them. For the motion picture 537 refit, I'll be using the a creation decals with the uh, iridescent paint from the golden iridescent paint from the Viserys paint store. And this model, the Spare 2017, will be used as a test bed for drilling out a new stand hole slightly forward of where they are on the older models to see if it can be done, if it can, if I can move the plug over a bit so we'll see how it goes and that's all for now get a good uh, view of the model from the top there and a good view of the model from the back there and you've already got it from the port side. So, see you all later. Bye-bye.